Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Yakima Ridgeback Hanging Style Bike Rack right here on our 2022 Toyota Tundra. So the Ridgeback can be bought as the 4 or the 5 bike version, very similar spe specs and measurements and features, but we're going to focus on our truck here today just so you can see the comparison between the two, how they work with each other so that you can make the best decision for you, your different types of bikes, and your Toyota Tundra. Our weight capacity for this bike rack is gonna be 150 pounds. Actually, that applies to whether you have the four bike or the five bike version. A hanging rack that has a little bit more weight capacity if you need it is going to be the Kurt Premium Rack. Now, with that weight capacity, remember that this has a single bike capacity of 40 pounds. So you can load this up with a 40 pound bike, another 40 pound bike, and more lighter bikes, as long as your total does not exceed 150. So let's talk about the way the bikes are mounted to the rack. We have one, two, and three mounting points. In fact, that third mounting point is gonna be our anti-sway cradle. So look at how much sway we have with that um, attached and if you press these levers and pull these zip strips out you can see there's gonna be a lot more sway so helpful once you have multiple bikes on there you want to prevent them from swaying from into each other so these have zip strips and like their name suggests it's super fast to remove them you just press those levers pull those off and just like that you're then ready to take your bike off so see how this fits in through those arms if you have bikes with different shaped frames, you may have to get a frame adapter bar. And this can be trickier once you have multiple bikes on there. Once you have it off, you're ready to go for a ride. So notice how we have these cushioned cradles. So there's a groove there for your brake lines, and then you have that rubber material just to help cushion your frame and give it some extra grip. That zip strip just pops in through your cradles. One thing about zip strips that I highly recommend is just to rotate them just like you would rotate tires. If you're using this cradle more often than the others, go ahead and switch them out with the lesser used cradle. These cradles are spaced out from center to center, five and a half inches apart. So that's good if so it doesn't take up too much space behind your truck. But if you want a bike rack with similar features but more spacing, you may want to check out the Yakima Back Road. That is very similar, but it has it where the cradles are about, I think, seven inches apart. Now, when you're carrying around a lot of bikes, there's also a lot of clearance you have to account for behind your vehicle. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm going to measure from our bumper here to the end of the rack by these Yakima Signature bottle openers. And it sits at about 41 inches of length. The five bike version is gonna be a little bit longer. So definitely a measurement to keep in mind when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot. And if you think it takes up too much room or you can't put your bike rack on while you're in your garage, what you can do is fold the arms down. So you're gonna lift up on this lever up here. You may have to lift your bike rack arms as you do so. There we go. Once that's engaged, this then just drops down and this is a lot more compact. I'm taking some measurements, closest point is gonna be from our tailgate to the back of the rack and that sits at nine inches. Length now added to the back of our truck is going to be 17 inches so big difference compared to when the arms were up this is going to be the position you want it in when you're just planning on driving around town and not planning on taking up too much space now what if you want to lower your tailgate or just get access to your truck bed what you can do is you can tilt this rack away so there's going to be a lever here you're going to want to pull that lever and then this will drop down to a tilt this actually has a pretty impressive angle for its tilt let's see if it's enough as we bring this tailgate down we actually have a lot of clearance here so now we can get into our truck bed get whatever we need to be honest with all of the different bike racks i've tried this is the only one that's had a good amount of clearance with it tilted away but what is it like living with a bike rack behind your truck well notice how high this sits 
this is just above your tailgate. So you still won't get um, the decreased visibility because of how small it is. And because of how small it is, your taillights are visible as well. What it does cover though is your license plate down here at the bottom. Your backup camera sits right where those arms are. What's going to happen is you will have decreased visibility through your backup camera, but you also still kind of be able to see the view behind you. This has an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch hitch adapter. This pops right into your hitch. We have a safety pin over there. Then we have a wedge on the inside, which is kind of tricky to line up. So you're gonna have to practice with that. But the wedge is important because it creates an anti-rattle effect. So this knob at the end, this is a locking knob. Once you have it into your hitch, you just rotate the knob. No need for tools. This tightens down, then you can lock it to secure it. And that creates an anti-rattle effect. To demonstrate how that wedge works, I'm gonna shake our bike rack back and forth to try to simulate that road movement and vibration. And notice how I'm kind of just shaking the truck at this point. That's because it's a nice and secure fit between your bike rack and your vehicle. If you do feel movement though, just double check and make sure this knob in front is tightened down. My personal thoughts about this bike rack, especially with our vehicle here, is I really like how I can carry around a lot of different bikes with our truck, and we have those premium features from Yakima. Now, if you want even more of a premium experience, definitely check out our platform racks. You won't be able to carry as much as the five bike version, but you'll have the stability of a good rack for your bikes. Another option for you is the Kurt Premium Bike Rack, especially if you're carrying kids' bikes, that's gonna have more tapered arms, easier for those smaller frames. But all in all, this checks off most of the boxes. You can get a cable lock added on to this bike rack for security. This has an included lock for the hitch, and it allows you to carry those bikes relatively safely and securely. So this was a look at the Yakima Ridgeback Hanging Style Bike Rack right here on our 2022 Toyota Tundra.